It's great to be with you on a Monday afternoon as we get set for this broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Utah Jams as they play against the Orlando Magic. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldrin. Mike, now that we're halfway through the season, what's most important for teams to focus on moving forward? I think it's about hitting your stride at the right time. For the teams in the playoff picture, trying to peak heading into the postseason is so important. Boy, that would seem to be a very hard thing to know, how to get your team to peak at the right moment. You always hear of coaches and players talking about the peaks and valleys of the NBA season. Why not peak at the right time? So the Orlando Magic able to put the first points up on the board. And there's the pass to King. Releases from 15. No good that time. And Orlando the other way now. They defeated Indiana in their last game. In their last game, they were extremely sharp, putting together a total effort. The defense was there. The offense was there. Just a great performance. And he gets the bucket. Boy, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Grant for three. The rebound by Davidson. Pass to Purdue. Passes it to Gonzalez. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. A red hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. Moore against Wall. 18 feet out. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got his fourth rebound in this one. The kick out to Wall. Pass to Gonzalez. Yep, that one goes in there. Well, I love the fact that they are looking to keep building onto this lead. They want to extend it, hoping to break the game open if they can. It won't happen all at once, but little by little, they are executing and starting to open the lead. Here's Maxwell following the bucket by Orlando. They need this. Here's Frazier. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, I like how King looks to set up his guys. He's known as a scorer, but showing you there, he can find the open teammate as well. All passes to Davidson. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Six to shoot. Gonzalez. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Well, that's an easy, effortless make right at the rim. Yeah, you know this. You, you, you usually get only looks like this in the layup line. The defense has to make it harder on him right there. Now here's more. Back to Frazier. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. First team foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. Shooter two. And the first one drops. And Frazier drops them both. And it's Wall with the ball for Orlando. The pass to Gonzalez. 
six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. And the Jazz call time here. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. The difference maker, the three-point shooting, really caught fire from behind the arc. And even the hostile crowd couldn't help a few oohs and ahs. They were cooking. First quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Ball against Moore. They get a hand on it. Left side wall. It's deflected. And here is Grant. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Frazier against Gonzalez. Shot by Frazier, no good. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay-in. Purdue, the pass to Gonzalez. Grant against Wall. Back to Gonzalez. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. 14 points for A-Train. Right out of the starting blocks. They've been dominant at the offensive end. And that early momentum has helped them put together a nice lead. Now here's King. 20 points for him last game against the Clippers. Coming off that pick, had all the separation he needed. And once he got that separation, Clark, there was no stopping him. And he capitalized with the emphatic finish. Gonzalez, that's good. Gonzalez has got 16. Still in the first quarter, and they've already carved out a double-digit lead in complete control thus far they couldn't have asked for a better start here's Maxwell really played well against the Clippers in his last outing King against Purdue shot clock at six here's Maxwell hits from the high post and when you're guarding him you've got to fight over the top lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot Moore against Wall. Pass to Gonzalez. Nine for nine. Looking deadly accurate. Like, guys, he cannot miss. Well, they had a plan coming into this one, and they have executed on it perfectly. Yeah, getting out ahead early on by stifling the competition on both ends of the floor. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. 
nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. And so it's Utah here with the ball. After the Magic pick up two. Frazier. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Magic. Frazier taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Frazier. And Frazier drops them both. And it's the Magic with the ball. Eight point game. Wall with the bounce pass. Here's Gonzalez. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got six assists in the game. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Here's Maxwell, and you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Frazier with a screen on Purdue. And blocked the ball with his pull. What a defensive play. Ball taking his time here. Passes it to Gonzalez. Here's Davidson. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Purdue the pass to Gonzalez. Five on the clock. The Magic need to get a shot off here. The steal. The finish. Throws down the breakaway jam. That's a good way to shrink the deficit. Strong defense turns into easy offense. Outside wall. Pass to Gonzalez. Power down with both hands. They have set the tone in the paint. Getting whatever they want. Well, not much resistance. And if things don't change, this could turn into a blowout. Now here's more. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Frazier, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. What hustle on the offensive glass. Finding ways to capitalize. 
paying off that hard work. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Utah. One team got to the playoffs, the other did not. So I'll let you guess who won the season series. The playoff team? Do I win a prize? But seriously, it's early on this season. Let's see where each team is. So Utah ends up going with the new group. Here's Buller down low. Here's Chapman. Rebounded by Wennington. Jazz trail by eight. Now here's Carroll. There's the pass to Outlaw. To the paint. Here's Wennington. And there it is for him. This demonstrates how poised Wennington is inside. Doesn't fear getting hit on the way up. Here's Chapman, Carroll covering. Hood with it. Pass to Chapman. Shot clock at five. A rebound by the Jams. Got the look he wanted. Sometimes it just doesn't go down. The feed now to Outlaw. And the shot is good. And now it's just a four-point magic lead. The point's coming in bunches here. Where's the D? Some great scorers on both sides. It's just that type of a game so far. Now here's Hood. Nine feet out. And that one is off. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Pass to Barrett. Barrett against Elliott. Offensive rebound. Wennington lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Wennington's got his second bucket of the game to go. This is what Coach loves to see from Wennington. Getting the board and then quickly sending it back. Now here's Hood. Defense is right there. To end the cold streak. And Russell puts it in. And the Magic lead by four. The Jazz have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Elliott against Barrett. Elliott passes to Wennington. Kicks it to Outlaw. Barrett against Elliott. Fires the three. Nice D from Barrett. Magic leading by four. Here's Chapman. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. 
Russell sets a screen for Hood. It's deflected with authority. Wellington coming at the shot with those long arms for a spot. Alba, the pass to Elliott. Here's Barrett, goes back up, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, that's what we call a good foul. Make them earn it at the line. It might not be pretty, but that's the right play in that situation. He saved the layup with that foul. Shoot two. And that one falls for Barrett. And so Barrett nails both of them. 144 left in the first quarter. Outside Hood. In the corner, Barrett with it. Lock at six. Here's Chapman. Rebound, Utah. Well, we've seen him make this shot often with no defensive coverage. He's got to be kicking himself he didn't make that one. Here is Elliott. Another guy really kicked it up a notch for them in that Clippers game. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Orlando leading. Hood on the wing, covered by Outlaw. Hood dishes to Russell. Outside Hood. The rebound by the Jams. Barrett's got four rebounds now tonight. 35 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now, Carroll. No points in the game yet for him. The Jazz again can't hit it. Well, Orlando shooting it from their comfort zone so far. In this one, 57% for the field. Out to Russell. Outside Hood. It's Barrett on the wing. Here's Chapman. It's good from the top of the key. And the Magic lead by four. Big effort gets the big reward. Simply outplaying the defense. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's the Magic. They're up by four. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And guys, for the Magic, what jumps out to you so far, numbers-wise? Because of how well they moved the rock, that first quarter was all theirs. Everybody seemed to be on the same page offensively, and guys knew precisely when to look to pass the rock. So, it's Utah now, trailing by four. More against Wall. Grant in the post. Back to Moore. Just five on the clock. Barrett with a screen on wall. Moore finds Barrett. Rejected by Gonzalez. Here's Law. Pass to Wall. Now here's Gonzalez. Barrett covering with the fadeaway. A shot off that time. And Utah the other way now. King, the pass to Maxwell. To the inside. It's stolen by Gonzalez. Outside, Wall. Now the pass to Purdue. Here's the hook. And yes, it's good. 
24 points for A train. Nice hook shot there. That's a go to move for him. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And King doesn't fear contact while shooting. He welcomes it. The Jazz have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. When we talk about the elite scorers in the league, Bernard King is up there, capable of monster nights. Frazier, he's checked in for Barrett. And a switcher also for Orlando. Long's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And he's making them count at the charity strike. No surprise there. And it's Wall with the ball for the Magic. They've led by as much as 10 to the paint a rebound by the Jams Grant outside pass to King and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here physical play from King in the paint really taking it to the defense and drawing a good foul for Utah they have been a perfect 8 of 8 at the line two shots Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Passes it to Gonzalez. Inside, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Amazing one-handed punch right there. Oh, man, on a mission, Clark. You're right, in a close game, showing some ferocity. These are the dunks you better finish if you're going up with just one hand. Now, here's more. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Frazier. The six-footer's good. A difficult jumper against a much smaller defender. That's what confidence can give you. The Magic have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Outside, Wall. Pass to Long. Pass to Davidson. Six to shoot. Orlando moving the ball around. Shoots it up. Get the live Orlando. And it's good. Two points. 26 points for A train. Fighting to keep the play going. Grabbing the board and sending it right back. Moore passes to King. Over Purdue. King's shot is off. He just can't seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. He's got to simplify things on offense. Concentrate on getting quality looks and not settling for bad shots. Now, here's Wall to the left side wing. Here's Gonzalez. Plays it up and banks it in. And now a six-point magic lead. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Utah calls timeout. Straight up facts here, guys. They are getting destroyed down low. Points in the paint, the topic of this timeout conversation. They need to play with more pride.
and a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Moore passes to Kent. Over Purdue. And the shot is long. Magic leading by six. Pass to Gonzalez. Here's Long. Passes to Davidson. Long kicks to Wall. Clock at four. Pass to Purdue. Right wing. Here's Gonzalez. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the layup. And now an eight-point Magic lead. Can't allow them to burn you on the offensive glass there. That's simply on the defense in my mind. Like coaches always say, remember to box out. When you don't, this is what happens. Now here's more. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Frazier. Rebound by the Magic. Gonzalez has got 11 rebounds in the game. Long pass to Wall. Got it. Good job in the low post. Wall's got the lead up to 10 now for the Magic. You know, given their lead, wasn't sure if they'd come out with energy in this third quarter, but there's the answer for you right there. This is what the great ones do. Not allowing the opposition to gain any hope in a comeback. It's stolen by Gonzalez. To the wing on the left. The pass to Long. Now here's Gonzalez. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Orlando shooting their first free throw this game. Utah calls timeout. A train with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. Jazz trail by 13. Frazier outside. Back to Moore. To the left wing. Here's Frazier. 
And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Frazier's got four points in the quarter. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Wall passes to Chapman. The Magic again can't hit. And got to be honest here. I mean, he should have made that. I bet it's not going to affect his confidence, though. He's going to keep taking those shots. Now here's more. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Grant for three. No good. Shot missing. So Orlando will take it the other way. They owes the Kings after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Outside wall. Pass to Davidson. Passes it to Law. Here's Davidson. And here's Wall outside. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. They need to find a high percentage shot, Clark, to regain some of that confidence. I think they've gone too long without seeing one go down. And that begins to mess with your psyche. Back to King. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. King throwing it down. Part of what makes him so much fun to watch. Pass to Gonzalez. Here's Long. A baseline J. Another shot. And the layup is up and in. And that's now 33 points for A-Train. Battling for the second chance points there. That kind of effort is why they've got the lead. Defensively, they need to match that energy. Well, they'll have a difficult time getting back into this game. Now here's King. Six points for him. Here's Frazier. Rejected by Gonzalez. And they recover it. King's shot is off. And the Magic with possession. They're on a 15-6 run. Moore against Wall. And there's the pass to Gonzalez. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Gonzalez has got the lead up to 13 now for Orlando. Utah is shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Moore passes to King. Over Wall. King, that's good. King's got eight points here in this quarter. At home in the mid-range. We normally see King fire from that area and closer. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. Here are the Magic now. They lead by 11. Here's Law. It's Barrett on the wing. To the middle. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Outlaw. Here's Carroll. Crawford with the rebound. Magic leading by 11. Steps back. Here's Law. Covered by Elliott. Law dishes to Hood. Six on the shot clock. Kick by Cummings. 
Charity stripe shot. He gets it in there. The Jazz shooting 33% in the second quarter. The offense has looked crossed up and confused at times. Barrett with a screen on Barrett. Elliott passes to Barrett. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. What's and up? the Magic making a change here. Russell's checked in. That one misses for Barrett. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. Down low, here's Russell. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got his fifth rebound in this one. And here's Carroll. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Clippers. And he trims the lead to single digits. Barrett's got four points now in the quarter. This is the creativity he brings to this offense. Fantastic at involving his teammates with his passing. Feeds the law. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. Jazz trail by nine. Outlaw with it. We saw him with 19 points his last out. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. The Magic making a switch here. Bullard's checked in. One fifty-eight left now here in the second. Outlaw the pass to Kira. Elliott against Barrett. Just five to shoot from deep. Elliott misses. Boy, they got lucky on that one. Yeah, he's an incredible three-point shooter. So you are ecstatic any time it does go in. Magic foul call. Boy. First personal foul. Fifth. The Jazz have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Sean Elliott taking two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Boy, Elliott scores in multiple ways. A very versatile small forward. Both free throws good for Elliott. Magic leading by seven. Outside hood. Pass to Law. Runner in the lane. That one rolling around and rims out. Utah has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Carroll, no one around him. Offline with his three. The Magic shooting 53% in the second quarter. Good ball movement, yielding good looks. Here's Law. Carroll covering. Law the pass to Russell. Here's Hood. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Hood's got four points this quarter. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. 46 seconds left here in the second. Carroll for three. <laughs> Purdue is checked in for Bear. Personal foul. First team foul. Into the lineup for the Magic. Purdue. Magic leading by nine. Hood deciding where to go with it. Purdue against Elliott. 
and it's blocked, and they get it back. Right side hood over Outlaw, and that one hits back iron. And for the Jazz, they're shooting 40% from the field. Elliott passes to Barrett. He kicks to Kira. And the layup's good off the glass. Carroll's got his first points of the game. I bet Coach loves to see this. Attacking the interior for a safer shot. And so it's Orlando heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. He's shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back to the action in just a minute. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. A train has been sensational. Already has racked up a double-double through the first half. We call that a stat sheet stuffer. And if he can carry that performance into the second half, he's going to have some monster numbers. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Jazz trail by seven. Moore passes to Maxwell. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Outside, Wall passes it to Gonzalez. And he uses the glass on the layup. Gonzalez has got his team on the board first here in the second half for Orlando. Now here's Moore. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to King. Over Purdue. Good on that shot. And with that, the Magic lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from King. Wall passes to Gonzalez. King with the steal. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. He has literally controlled the defensive glass all night, limiting those second-chance opportunities. Wall against Moore. Gonzalez, and good, coming off the assist by Wall. Gonzalez has got 39. Working his way inside for a high-percentage look there. Nicely done. A bumpy start to a new half for this D, though. They kind of gave that up. Now, here's Grant. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. They set the pick. Just four to shoot. Rejected by Gonzalez. Moore against Wall. Got a piece of it. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Davidson passes to Long. Magic moving the ball around. And the pass to Purdue. Puts up a three. And it's Utah with the rebound. And, you know, that shot was challenged, but even so, I'm always surprised whenever he misses. Yeah, had the space, but not that time. That's what this team needs right now. You're right, cutting the deficit with the one-handed flush. Maybe that can give them a little spark. Here's Long after the basket by Utah. And that one is good. Well, I tell you, his vision has been outstanding in this one. Finding many opportunities to create for his team. This is how you run an offense. Moving the ball and rewarding ready shooters. Here's Maxwell. Pass to King. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. King's got six here in this quarter. And so it's Wall with it. Bringing it up for Orlando. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pass to Purdue. Here's Long. He's guarded by Maxwell. And here's Wall outside. They get it back. Gonzalez. That's good. Gonzalez has got 41. He is anchored in and making a living down low tonight. Pass to Frazier. And 
there's the pass to Maxwell. Rejected by Gonzalez. Here's Wong. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Magic have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. John Wong at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. More against Wall. He's your right side. Pass to Maxwell. Five to shoot. Fires to the hoop. Over Wall. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Maxwell's got six. With the ball on the string, just getting anywhere he wants to go. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. Magic leading by eight. Wall passes to Gonzalez. Shoots over Frazier. Gonzalez, that's good. Gonzalez has got 43 points. You see why they lean on him night in and night out. Passes it to Frazier. Again with the block. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. King, left side, pass to Maxwell. Moore, outside, pocket six. The pass to Maxwell, jacks up a three. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Wall with the bounce pass. Gonzalez passes to Davidson, and that one, good. And it's a 12-point Magic lead. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left them that much of a lane to work with. Moore outside. Here's King. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Long. And it's Orlando with another. They're starting to idle down and settle in. Much better shot selection this half. Yeah, they're showing great patience at the offensive end. Now here's Moore. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. 
Here's King. Nails it from the high post. When you've got Bernard King on your team, you're expecting big scoring nights. It's surprising when he doesn't go for big numbers. He's just that good. Zalas down low. Frazier covering. Here's Chapman. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Shot from the wing. A shot missing. So Utah will take it the other way. Grant with the ball. He's picked up by Wall. Moore passes to Maxwell. And here is King. They set the screen. Gets a very good look and converts. King's got 10 points in just the second half. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Fundamentally sound right there. Threw it down with two hands. Yep, sweet dunk for him. Beyond the aesthetics, a big two points. And the Jazz call time here. Checked in for the match. Let's check out the standings in the Western Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. You look at Orlando. They are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sitting in first place right now and not looking like they you know, are going to be slowing down at all. And of course, Utah. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. Jazz trail by 12. Now Outlaw. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Pass to Elliott. Now Carroll puts up a three. The rebound by Davidson. Now here's Wall. Tight defense on him. Passes it to Barrett. Gonzalez with it. Barrett covering. Oh, that's blocked. And it goes out of bounds. The last touch by Barrett. Here's Chapman and the layup falls. Chapman's got the lead up to 14 now for the Magic. Use the pick, get space, easy, smart basketball. Pass to Elliott. Barrett with a screen on Barrett. Elliott kicks to Outlaw. Another miss by Utah. And so Hood will bring it up for the Magic. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Barrett the pass to Hood. Got a hand on it. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. That one drops for him. That's an awful defensive lapse, allowing the uncontested jumper. Magic leading by 12. There's a good screen. Chapman the pass to Bullock. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Orlando.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And Orlando making a change here. Laws checked in. And he's good on the second. Here is Outlaw trying to claw their way back into this game. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. There's the pass to Wennington. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Law. Pass to Chapman. Shot clock at six. No one near him. A rebound by the Jams. Barrett's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Outlaw. Carroll with it. Pass to Elliott. Here's the three. Orlando grabs the miss. Russell's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Chapman, covered by Outlaw. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. That's exactly what a team needs when they're playing from behind. Energetic defense. For the Jams. Frazier comes in for Barrett. And it's Grant in for Wennington. Magic moving the ball around. Bullard the pass to Law. Now Barrett covered by Elliott. Four on the shot clock. His first shot coming late. Barrett no good. Jazz trail by 13. Grant kicks to Outlaw. Frazier with a screen on Barrett. Elliott passes to Frazier. And they pick up two. Love seeing him set that hard screen. And they get a clean look out of it. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. Orlando leading by ten. One fifty-eight left in the third quarter of the game. Law dishes to Russell. Good on the bucket. Russell's got his second basket of the game. Saw the lane open up, and he led his man perfectly with the pass. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. The pass to Kira. Frazier with a screen on Barrett. Here's Elliott, and that one is hammered home. Best of luck stopping him on his way to the rim. Yep, seems to have a little extra bounce. Such an advantage to go over the top once you're inside. Here's Chapman, launches it. Carroll with the rebound. 112 left in the third quarter. Tries the spin move. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Boy, I love the attacking mindset. Putting the bigger defender on his heels, nicely done. Yeah, not giving him any time to react is the way to do it. You see the results. Chapman the pass to Law. To the middle, here's Russell. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. I think it's time for him to see a lot of bodies, put plenty of guys on him. 
I agree. They haven't been able to succeed with single couples. The Magic shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. For the Magic, Crawford's checked in, and it's Purdue in for Barrett. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Free throw, no good for Russia. Jazz trail by 10. Outside Carroll. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's the teardrop. And he lays it up and in. Wong's got seven points. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Chapman, covered by Outlaw. Kept alive. Here's Crawford. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. You know, when you're down like they are, you can't give up any second-chance opportunities. It's hard enough to attempt a comeback, so you have to complete the stops you can. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. One shot. throw good Crawford Crawford against Carroll another miss by Utah and so it's the Orlando Magic their lead at 15 going into the break their strategy has been clear tonight work the ball inside get shots in the paint and now they are scoring with ease we'll return shortly And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Out to the right wing. Gonzalez against Carroll. Six to shoot from 13. Gets the front of the rim and out. Utah shooting about 42% so far. The rebound by Long. From the mid-range, you really want to avoid contested attempts. Inside. Zalas down low, covered by Elliott. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the call. Utah the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Kings checked in for the Jazz. Both shots good from the strike. Jazz trail by 17. To Elliott. The Jazz working the ball around now. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Got it in close, and that just about always helps.
The free throw drops for Elliott. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Outside wall. That's tipped. And here is Outlaw. King outside. Passes it to Elliott. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Elliot. Magic leading by 12. Outside wall. Pass to Long. The baseline J. Utah with the rebound. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Outlaw with it. Now the pass to Maxwell. To the inside. And Frazier with the basket on the assist from Sean Elliott. More than pulling his weight offensively. I mean, he's ready and willing to step up when called upon. And they'll need him to continue filling it up if they want to take control. And another assist for him. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. Jazz trail by 12. And he's going up for the alley-oop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. That's a great way to energize your team. Right? I mean, the timing and the chemistry on display with that well-orchestrated alley-oop. And looking to even up the score. They're hoping that's the start of a run. Here are the Magic now. After the basket by Utah. Gonzalez, that's good. So consistent from the field. A quality outing for him. Jazz have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. To the wing right side. To the paint. Here's Elliott. And he jams it with authority. What a powerful move that was right off the screen. Yeah, they set him up well there. Obviously, a set they've been running in practice. He knew just what to do. That's one way to build this lead. Yep, showtime, Clark, and a real important hoop. You want to extend that lead. Now Outlaw, King outside. Frazier with a screen on Purdue. King, a putback. Great positioning on the putback. Frazier's got four this quarter. Nice work on the offensive boards. Yeah, just getting the touch just right for that tip and well timed. Fantastic play. Yeah, it's easier said than done, but he did make it look effortless out there. Now here's Frazier. Here is Outlaw. Pass to Maxwell for three. Hits the three-point bomb. And the defense has to know where he is at all times. There's simply no excuse letting him get this wide open from deep. Here is Wall. Passes to Gonzalez. Here's Purdue. Softly drops in the floor. Purdue's got his first two points. Impressive anticipation on the lead pass. Putting it right on the money for his teammate. And here is Outlaw. Pass to King. And too long on the shot. All he needed right there was simply to set himself up and then relax and shoot the ball. He threw himself off balance for no reason. Purdue the pass to Davidson. Gonzalez against Frazier. And another assist. How about the quarter from him? On a tear. Jazz trail by 11. Outlaw the pass to Maxwell. 
the pass to King. The 19-foot shot. No good on that one. So Orlando will take it the other way. Pass to Wall. Down low. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. He sees an opening and takes it. Moving the ball inside and into the hands of a guy ready to score. Outlaw with it. Here's Elliott. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Gonzalez has got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Plays it up and banks it in. Gonzalez has got 57 points. Outstanding effort and performance here, especially when you factor in they're on the road. So difficult to win games away from home. And they're not just up, they're in control. Now here's King. Shot clock at six. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. King's got 12 points in just the second half. Magic leading by 13. Outside wall. There's a screen. Frazier against Gonzalez. And it's blocked. Elliott passes to Outlaw. King outside. Passes it to Elliott. This one for three. The rebound by Davidson. Davidson's got his sixth rebound on the night. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Frazier. It's stolen by Gonzalez. Left side wall. Orlando moving the ball around. Another possession, another assist. Giving up mid-range looks to a shooter like him, not going to help you get out of this hole. Yeah, time for a change because right now they're just getting beat up. Pass to King. The 19-foot shot. Some shot is good that time. King's got four points this quarter. This is clearly a man on fire. Was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. So both teams making some changes here. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Magic was saying to his team. 
We talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Thank you, David. Now here's Wall. And there's the pass to Gonzalez. And another one falls. Able to punch it inside. Nice execution offensively. Jazz trail by 15. Pass to King. Back to Moore. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Getting up for Losu, Bernard King. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Magic. 17 points was their biggest margin. Passes it to Gonzalez. And good! There's another! Well, size-wise, that was a mismatch. Great idea to work it inside. Utah's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Moore passes to Elliott. Pass to King. They set the pick. Pulls up on the wing. Shot is good off the back rim and in. King's got 18 points now here in the second half. Well, he needs help. Scoring-wise, his teammates need to do something. Wall passes to Chapman. Now Wall. Now the pass to Davidson. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Going way upstairs to throw that one down. Clark, what a lift off. Mm -hmm. He saw his opening and took off. Yes, he did. That's how you have to be right at the rim. Aggressive. Here is Elliott following the bucket by Orlando. King, the pass to Frazier. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul, third team foul. At the line for your Jazz, Frazier. At the line for two. And he makes the first. So one for two that time with the strike. Orlando leading by 14. Outside wall. Utah foul. Johnny Moore. First personal foul. Second team foul. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Gonzalez. Out left of the wing. Lock at six. Here's Chapman. An easy two points on the layup. And the Magic lead by 16. There's a minute 47 left here in the fourth quarter. And Moore kicks to Grant. Floats it up for Grant. Something King does well in addition to everything else. He knows how to move the ball. 137 left in the fourth quarter. Wall against Moore. Pass to Chapman. Salas down low, uses the glass to finish the layup. Hey, this was exactly the kind of game Coach wanted to see from them. High effort, great play at both ends, gets the win for the match. Coach Fratello, offensively, they looked sharp, and they took quality shots. Yeah, they played for one another out there. Their selfless attitude is why their offense operated like a well-oiled machine. Game for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for A-Train.
This guy caused havoc on the defensive end, piling up the steals. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. The first one falls, and the Jazz making a change here. Barrett's checked in. And Frazier drops them both. Here's Law. 104 left to play in the final quarter. Pick by Cummings. Law the pass to Cummings. Shoots over Frazier. Cummings can't hit. So it's Utah now. It's a 14-point game. Frazier outside. Now King. This is the Barrett. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. They're really making a go of it, but perhaps too little, too late. But you respect them for playing out the string. Outside hood. Pass to Law. Crawford right side. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul. Clearly, he got it, no doubt. Good job by the officials. Yes. The line for the magic. We are giving credit to the officials. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And he can't hit the second. Here's more. King left side. That one wide left. Outside wall. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. And Clark, a quality win for them in a hostile environment, found a way to eke out a win on the road. No home cooking, but they're still eating. I love it. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. And we'll see you next time.